five wood and an eight iron. Five wood and eight iron. All right, Birdie Man, what clubs did you choose? Uh, six iron and 56. Six iron and a 56, man. Not even going with the wood. All right, playing smart. What are you for the round? Uh, one under. Hell yeah, keep it going, man. That was JVD, though. Looked like the swing. What? Holy moly, he just, my man drove it to right there. This is a par four. Hey, we want to know, did you, did you dub in that quack, quack, quack? No, I actually made the sound quack, quack. Oh, no, no, yeah. but live? Yeah, did it live? Oh, oh, did it video. oh, though, that's a great shot, Chris. Oh, quack, quack, quack. That's not the shot you usually see. Shame that one was on video. Toward the hole, though. <laughs> nice putt. Van Dune for Eagle. Hit it. Plays up. I'm a, I'll finish it. <laughs> Did you hear the commentator there? No. Nance just said, lays up. <laughs> <laughs> Chris still mad about the quack quack. <laughs> nice bird. Thanks, birdie. You were me, Dylan. Uh, I'll go if you want to. So driver, driver in 60 degree? Yeah. Nice. Chris Lawson for birdie. Get in. Yes, Chris. The cameras are rolling for Chris this time. Chris, what are you at the round now? Uh, one under. One under, solid. We're chasing Joshua there, he's at three under. <laughs> what? He's at three under through made eight? Four, with, made four birdies in his first eight. With two clubs to go with his putter. That's yep. What are your two clubs? 64 and driver. 64 and driver, all right, not messing around. So they gotta land this like 160? 166. Land this like, God, what a banana ball. It, this is a tough one. This, this was one of the words I was worried about yesterday. I mean, what's it throwing? You could try and delay the 60. No, no. Man hit driver on the par three, and I think he hit the green. No, I'm, I'm over the bunker. Over the bunker. I just want to get a hole in one round with a driver on camera. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. Have you got a 20 yard cut on a 150 yeah. yard cut? It's right at it. Good. Come on. Oh, yes. Oh, I just slowed it down, but that's not bad. Driver off a of par three. Hey, Joey, what are your clubs today? Me? I brought the driver and the pitching wedge today. Smart, smart. Yeah, it's tough. Where are you for the round right now? I am like four over, unfortunately. Oh, all right, well, keep on, keep going, man. You got it. We'll keep going. We'll keep it going. Welcome to San Diego. This is Josh Wins 13. So far, our leader, Josh Van Dune, is three under through eight holes with two golf clubs and a putter. That's nuts, though. Get in. Oh, nice shot by Joey Busalaki. Almost holds it. This guy with wedges is pretty sick. Yeah. Wow. Get in. Holy moly. On the short side, downhill too. Nice shot, Josh. Thanks. Carried that about eight feet further than I wanted to. Oh, oh, that was not a good shot? That was a great shot. <laughs> <laughs> great result. Nice par that puts Josh at minus three from the front. That's too bad. Looks like he's going to drop a stroke back after the birdie. Get back to even par. <laughs> it's playable. Practice green seems a lot worse than, uh, than these greens for sure. Yeah. A couple... Pops here and there, but it, it's doable. 
I mean, apparently, what would you shoot a 33? 33. <laughs> yeah, I gotta believe anything close to par, under par is gonna win. I gotta believe anything close to par is gonna be a good score today. Yeah, for sure. The group in front of you, one guy had was one under, and he had just birdied eight to get to one under. Okay, so yeah, definitely. It's not as bad as like you think it'd be, because you're hitting the same club pretty much every time, for your second shot. You know? Yes, as long as you're good with your driver, hitting it straight, which exactly. I know one guy who is. <laughs> Questions are down the left side, but that's going to be totally fine. Uh -oh. <laughs> Van Dune, just another shot, just right there. Easy birdie putt. Certainly a tap in par if he doesn't make it. Oh, good shot. With a pitching wedge out of the bunker. Gets it. Oh, what touch. Get in. A little long, now he's gonna have a downhill fight. You should definitely keep filming because you're, you're for sure gonna get something crazy with the driver, or like a nine iron. Oh, court, yeah, you know, like, exactly. That was why I had to come out. I was like, oh. and even if you put it there, like pitching wedge, you know, like, oh, exactly. You're gonna get something crazy, especially with you guys. Don't worry, when you hit your sand shot, I was like, dude, he hit that with a pitching wedge. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's yeah. weird shit. Yo, Josh for birdie. Get in. Oh, sent it long. Can I have about two and a half feet left for his par? Oh, score! Score! Fix that hole. And doomed to remain at three under. Nothing but net. Like I said. Chris looking for the waterfowl. That is, uh, that's fine, dude. You just throw the tee box. Just lay all the way back. Go ahead, Joe. Oh, that's a good ball. That is going to travel. Nice draw. Now that is absolutely crushed. That is a low drive that just cut through the wind and ran. Now, Chris, you were the club champion in 2017, am I correct? Many moons ago, yes. That's awesome. Do you remember what score you had over those three rounds as a total to win? Right around even par. Nice. What is your personal, I've asked this to everybody, what's your personal best from the Blues here at Balboa? 66. 66. That's pretty good. That's yeah, pretty good. Yeah. I think he's, that's basically his stroke average this year. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's my, that's my too. I'm, I'm outing you to all of your gambling buddies. <laughs> because he had, he had like a 67, 68, 67 on like punch greens ball in hand that he never even had to post. Take advantage of the opportunity. Let's fucking go. <laughs> By the way, triple play to clinch the playoffs. That I went to bed thinking about. I woke up thinking about. I've talked about it out here seven times today, and I've had like nine alerts on my phone. It's a pretty good day as a Padre fan. Chris, the San Diego fan through and through. Let's fucking go, baby. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Oh. So you were at about 332. Oh, you didn't even hit that 300, did you? into a pretty good little headwind there, Josh. You hit it low, dude. I thought you were going to go right through that wind. I, I mean, I, I love the trajectory of your drivers, man. I don't know how you do that. Close my eyes and swing hard. No, that's what you did on 16 during the championship. <laughs> so, yeah, what, how far out are you? You're... Got, um, let's see. We got about 52. 52 yards going at 64 degree? Yep. Taking relief from the path, Josh. Always a rule follower. 
laying down the law. Is that how you got your last name? No, I got that one at birth. Goodness, Van Dune hit first, didn't even get on film, put it over the tee on 12 and right next to the pin on 11 for birdie putt. Out of a tough lie. Is that a birdie, Josh? Four under. <laughs> Two clubs. <laughs> you pissed yet? You pissed yet? Is this for 40? You'd be mad if you lost the first six holes in a six hole match. I did. <laughs> but the question is is it for 40 or for 20? is when the team that's losing agrees to essentially a double or nothing bet. We are playing a game of press when you're pissed. Booyah. Wow. Did you get down? Nah, I hit it. I hit it. Alright. Bananas don't go as far as... Feel it on 10. Apparently, Chris is worried about that going too far. Have you ever clocked your like swing speed and stuff like that? I've gone, uh, it's like 115. 115? Yeah. I'm not sure what is, I've never measured my own, so I don't know what a good swing speed is, but I know that yours has got to be pretty good. I, you know, I, I just want to hit the ball in the center of the club face. <laughs> what kind of driver you carry? Uh, that's the Stealth 2 Plus. I tried the QI-10, I tried the QI-10 low spin, and I like the Stealth Plus 2 better. Or questioning why I was going backwards in technology, but I like the Stealth Plus 2 better. <laughs> the uh, QI-10 just didn't feel as good. Golf is so mental that, you know, you just want to look down and feel good about whatever you have in your hands, right? And you are correct. The rules are on the website, and we have defined the lateral line to be the edge of the car path. So on holes like 12 and 16, it makes a difference. And so here, like, uh, it's, so does, it's where it say where, does it say where it starts? Does it start from the tee box? Um, anything right of it? I believe so. I believe anything right of the path is defined as the line of the lateral hazard. Yeah. I got this for all time. Joey appears to be lost in the bushes. Chris, is it over this from that angle? Yeah, over the, over the very top of the U. Fine. You're 50 Not bad. Short. Got short. out of it. That's impressive. I mean, he's walking through a jungle. Not bad. Just solid, solid golf. Oh, a nice shot. Hey, so I think you need to interview B. Lynn because he's the only guy left in the club 
that belongs to both clubs. He belongs to Tori. No, no, I, I left Tori. Oh, he left Tori. Yeah, we don't want Tori. Only Balboa here. Okay? Balboa. Yeah, hey, hey, hey. Through, Tori yeah. Pines members eat dinner too, Joe. Yeah, yeah they do. They're, they're people too. They're really rich. They pay $500 for membership. We pay 100 $500. You really think they, they raise it that much? They still have all those like the prices at Barbusa, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like the prices at Barbusa. Nice. nice. Inflation. <laughs> How much is that ribeye now? <laughs> this whole sponsored by us. Oh, wow. <laughs> I did enjoy my dinner at Nona. Yeah. <laughs> Get in! Oh. What a putt! Yeah, nice bird. How Shit, is that for it. the true press? Wow. <laughs> Take that and shove it up your fucking cannoli. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good, uh, that's, a good yeah, right that's gonna go viral. <laughs> <laughs> Five under par. Yeah. Holy! What is happening? Five under through twelve with two clubs and a putter. What? Like, what? What's that? What are the teams? Uh, it's every six holes we trade partners. So the last six starting here is me and B Lynn. Got it. So who was that? Who were your partners on that last one? That was me and Joey. Got it. So you just basically pushed or tied, we, uh, Chris? We went. We won. Oh, really? Yeah, we, we pushed that hole, but we were already one up. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Ooh, this has hole in one written all over it, doesn't it? I don't know. Can you hit your lob wedge that far? I can. But... <laughs> <laughs> no, there'll be no driver from here. No, okay. What do we got? Helpful. Go. All right. Cool. All right. I do believe that's the first time that a green has been hit out here on a par three. <laughs> <laughs> that's correct. Hey, that is true. Yeah, I, I, I've never done it either. And then I saw Joe Tinsley doing it during the championship, and I was like, if he can do it, although he has pretty big calves. You checking them out, Josh? Hey. Uh, oh, yeah, me, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm breaking the law, except I am behind Chris, so that's all right. <laughs> exactly. Oh, you do have to do a little bit oh man, I don't know about this, man. <laughs> You're not holding the camera and stuff. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never doing this again. <laughs> I'm never not recording this again. <laughs> Josh Van Dune comes out of a bush. Woo! Xander, since he's from San Diego. Yeah. Oh, that'd be great, dude. That would be great to get Tim Mickelson out here. Oh, that one. To get to six under par. Oh, wow. That was really close. Hi, Chris. So solid. That is long. I think he's okay. That should be pretty solid. Perfect line. 
good ball. Big draw down the right side. Oh, that's another great shot. Those are some great tee shots right there. Chris, that is your, your tee shot is all the way up there. Josh is only like 30 behind me. Dude, first of all, you're in the fairway. How, how many yards do you think you have in from there? See what I did there? <laughs> That's ridiculous. I don't know what I do with from uh, 150 yards when you've only got a driver or a lob wedge. So you're 150 out? I guess I'm about 140 or so. What is this hole from the red tees? Do you know? 450 maybe? 470? 470? So you think that was 320? Joey's got the card. I, yeah, I'd say that one went 330, 3, 325, 330. <laughs> well, I've only got 100 it. Is that 150? Is that the 150 part? I've never you seen got it. got like 175, Josh? He shot out here. Um, I was 20 behind you. Oh, okay. <laughs> no disrespect. <laughs> I got 171. Going driver off the deck. Uh, this is more <laughs> out of a hole. That's pretty good with the driver from that lie. You are absolutely putting for eagle, my friend. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Let's get to six. Seven. Why not? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Chris, how many yards you got? I got one, five middle, and Joey said it was 494. I've never seen a tee shot. We are inside the 150 mark on the 14th hole. driver from 150 yards all that often yeah you had the choke up and I just can't even imagine how you would play that <laughs> trying to hit out of the bunker with a pitching wedge what uh, what clubs did you choose for today's event nine iron and my mini driver mini driver and a yep. nine iron all right do you regret the choice or are you uh, happy with no, the choice I'm happy with the choice I Excellent. just need to hit it better <laughs> Song bunker shot by Chris Lawson. He's gonna have that left for birdie. Now Van Doon with his eagle putt to get to seven under par. Winko in the hole. Yeah. Oh, try to get a bounce. He's gonna have an easy tap That's in birdie, and that. We'll get yeah, into six right under for the day. What? Nice putt. Nice birdie. Josh Van Doon at six under par through 14 with only two clubs from the red tees. Driver 60 degree, six under. What? Red tees on the 15th hole, par four. It's pretty impressive for sure. There, there's your updated leaderboard. What the heck is that? One person under par. Six, Six under. Clear. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I knew Maybe par is a good score. Point. That's the key, That's right? True. There. I mean, he could go to even real quick. <laughs> <laughs> is there is there a max? No, isn't it a max like net double or not? not? Is there a max? Not for like. A you, for you, well, you can post, yes, but uh, when it comes to like an actual tournament, tournament you, it'll still add. You make it 11, it's 11. It's no, but sometimes we have rules like what, oh, you, what, what, gets, what gets post. Oh, you're right, yeah. But uh, on the non major it, specifically. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, it's new to me. It's because you don't ever make anything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It was the last time you made a triple. Right? Oh, actually, no, never mind. <laughs> too soon. Too soon. <laughs> Right at it. it. Right at it. Go. Right at it. Go. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gracious. I don't think I've 
ever seen, certainly not on film, I've never caught that. Is that two par fours you just drove today? Oh, it's red tees, Josh, red tees. Red tee, schmed tee, man, you're 600 par. I don't care what tee you're playing from. Also a really good line, a little right, a little right. Well hit though. Ain't no ducks out here. How many eagle putts do you have today, Josh? He has to think about it. Well, That's the crazy on one, part. Well, on one, that, that was an eagle chip from all, just off the fringe, right? I'm counting that one. <laughs> Five, you were pin high left in the rough. That's two. Four, I was on. I had 12 footer. Yeah. Oh my God, you were on four? <laughs> Eight. Eight, wrong. Yeah, it's four or five. And then 14 <laughs> eagle putt. 15 eagle putt. Yeah, just four or five eagle putts. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> if you watched the end of the video, you would have seen those screenshots. What? Oh, really? <laughs> Wait, you made a video? The one I sent you last night. Oh, I didn't see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> About the greens. Not just the one short, oh, but like the four-minute thing. I, I watched like half of it. Yeah, exactly. Now, how much damage did you do to the green with that ball, though? It looks like it's just not much. That's pretty impressive. It, I mean, it could have bounced a little bit. That would nice. Wow. Oh, it almost went in on the fly. Van Dune for Eagle again. This to get to eight under for the day. And it's a tap in birdie to get to seven under par. A lot of tapping birdies. Tapping birdie, seven under par through 15 with only two clubs and a putter. with the save putts it's solid I mean you called it too you were very confident in your ability to shoot in the 60s today and I gotta admit I was skeptical I was like I don't think so I think par is gonna win it no I mean if you had shot par you'd have won it but I might sign an incorrect scorecard and get DQ <laughs> I'm gonna help commentate this one. This hole. From the red tees, he needs to take an aggressive line. I mean, he really does. He almost has to go straight at that cart on the right. If you see down there, you can see the two poles and the Coronado Bridge is behind the road, the one on the left. Take that one there. Be in trouble. How far do you think it is to clear the corner? Might have gotten a break. Might have got a break. Hit right there. Ninety percent of the time. Uh, by the uh, yeah, green box. Under, green boxes. Did you see it bounce? Yeah, it bounced. But that's where it's, board, right? the fence goes. There's the board. He was right at the board. Chris went with a very aggressive line. It's either going to be incredibly good or just unlucky. Looks like Josh found his ball. He's trying to figure out if he can get a club on it. 
Chris hoping his ball stayed straight. If he is, you're going to be like, what, inside 200? <laughs> If, you, if it's in. If it's in. Let's go see where these guys ended up here. Oh no, somebody's against the fence. Do you guys find him? Yeah. Is that, that you, Josh? Yeah. Josh, in play. Gonna have to lay up. Smart play. Cannot get a driver off that. For one thing, you mess up his golf club. Smart play. That's all you can do. Now he's got driver in. Yeah. <laughs> About the same spot it was in the, in the club championship, too. <laughs> Joey also up against the fence. Because it's an out of bounds fence, you don't get relief from it. Oh, but he is. But he is on a sprinkler head. Wow, that is fortunate. So he doesn't get relief from the out of bounds fence, but he does get it from the sprinkler head. Get up! Did you see it? I mean, I didn't see it bounce. It was pretty good out of that lie. Just a question of whether it bounced straight left or. Not, but I, he has a chance. Did not see it. Honestly, let me Lynn call it because. Hey, me Lynn count the ball. Did that, did that do what I think it just did? <laughs> so Josh, who was in trouble off his tee shot, stuck against the fence, had to lay up with his 60 degree. How far out are you right here? About 245? 235. 235 to a front pin and driver off the deck as his third shot and looks like he's stuck it on the green how close do you think you are there josh i mean it could be a few feet it could be over the green i'm not sure it could be just short if it landed soft you hit it exactly how you wanted it i did how far does your driver off the deck go just depends on how hard i swing that was just like a little bunty a whole bunt deck bunt, driver yeah <laughs> is there a, is there an acronym for that yeah B D O D. Yeah, B D O D. B D O D. I like that. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, we'll make a putt. Thanks, sir. You can see right there, that's Josh Van Dunes, driver off the deck shot. We are two weeks away from an event of epic magnitude. Tory Pines versus Balboa. Stay tuned for more. It's the lip. Doctor. Almost. Almost. Wow, what a par. <laughs> what a par. Driver off the deck, up against the out of bounds wall. That was pretty sweet. Shot, Joey. Let's see if that's the distance. Should roll right up. It does. Come on. Don't go off the back, though. Ah. Guys, I want to bring up the attention here. <laughs> to the, everybody's attention. That we are playing two clubs. I have a driver and I have a pitching wedge. These guys hit it way longer, hitting driver and actually a 60 degree. So if they get in trouble, they have that to come back up. 
It's hard. It is hard. And Josh is making it look easy. I mean, my man is seven under. <laughs> He's about to post his course record out here. That was Joey Busalaki. Shout out to two of the best basketball players in 10th grade here in San Diego. Joey's son, John Luca, and our son, Roman. Yo, man, I'll take that two-on-two -two match any day. Some good basketball playing here. Now, Joey, he's not a basketball player. He's a golfer, and he's doing all right. But nobody's coming close to Mr. Van Doon. Josh Van Doon, through 16 holes, is seven under par for the day with only two golf clubs to go along with his putter. What the? Oh, what a shot. Great shot, Chris. By the way, at this moment, I'd love to bring up that Josh is also bogey-free. I'm not, actually. Oh, you're not? <laughs> Wait, you're seven under with a bogey? With bogey? What holds you, hold you bogey? Three. Oh, boo. Boo. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Van Doon, birdie putt on 17 to get to eight under par for the day. seven under par for the day, going into 18. Now Van Doon on the tee at seven under for the day. Let's go, baby. I mean, that could be on. <laughs> Seems like it could be on. There goes JVD just trying to roll with it. Also really good. Chris trying to drive the green again on camera. Will he be the first person to get two drives on the green on camera here? Anything to make up for that other hole. That's golf. Which one are you? <laughs> nice. Yeah. We're gonna have two eagle putts here. Both Chris Lawson and Josh Van Doon. Chris with an actual putt on the putting green. Josh just off in the fringe. Get in. Get in! Nice putt, Chris. Chris not wanting to injure the wildlife. And now Josh putting for Eagle from off the green to get to nine under for the day. Yeah, how much is on that putt right there? Oh, it's a, it's like a, probably $150 putt. It's a $150 putt for Somewhere Josh. Around, right? Maybe more. Why do you think he wears the Tory hat? I don't know. Is that like, is that, their heads. Is that like the San Francisco Psy Giants? Off. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's going to wear it in a match against Tory, right? Oh, he should. should. Alright. This is for Birdie. 64. <laughs> Tap yeah. your feet, yeah. clap your hands. My man just shot a 64 out here at Balboa Park <laughs> using only two golf clubs and his putter. What just happened? I have nice no, round. I have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> what?
Congratulations. Some of our best golfers out here at Balboa Park. <laughs> even, but, even, even par with two clubs and a putter and I got beat by two. Josh, is that your best score ever here at Balboa? Yeah, I mean, not a post. <laughs> post it. Yeah. I don't know. I, we may have to make an exception now. That's a great, great round, dude. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, I made a... Hit the driver well. That was, it was all about the driver today. I think I don't, actually. I'm posting it for you. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, more importantly, beat LA, baby. Beat LA. Sheep. I'm curious to know. Well, actually, you're a plus seven today. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, right? Shouldn't be seven. So Josh, two weeks from now, we're going to be having a little practice round. You're wearing the hat, I guess. Oh. Are you, are you going to wear the Tory hat for Absolutely that round? not. No. <laughs> Just to kind of get in their head a little <laughs> bit. No, no. Oh, hat. No. Yeah, I can't wait for that. That's going to be pretty awesome. Looks like the green were oh, apparently good enough shape for you to shoot a 64. <laughs> so yeah, that was, uh, that was wild, wild round. The greens were okay, and I can't wait to see them in a couple weeks. What do you, what do you think is going to happen? Have you ever seen either Nick, Neil, or Matt Reagan play before? Never met them before. Yeah, I, I mean, I follow Nick on social media. He's just really good. Nice. I know that his goal is to win the mid-am and, and get, oh. get into the Masters. Well, he's a stud then. And according to John Hoffman, <laughs> he is the best mid-amateur golfer in around. Okay. Well, bring it on, baby. <laughs> Can't wait. Except the question we don't know is how often does he play a Balboa? See, that's the thing, right? He can be a really good golfer and still not figure this course out. Exactly. Yep. I mean, Chris, what did you think when you first heard about this uh, match between the uh, Tory and the Balboa champions? You know, I'm just glad that uh, we're finally getting to slum it over at Torrey. <laughs> I think that uh, Mikey's allegiances are, are solidified now as a uh, club champion. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he already chose to play ours instead of theirs. And I think that uh, I put Mikey JVD against any two amateurs in the county, so go get him, boys. How many other guys have to three four out here? I don't think anybody, actually. I, I, I don't I, think we've ever done the event, so I believe he has just posted the, uh, yeah. the record. He has the record, but that's also the, the record out. score, period, <laughs> from any non-scramble event that I can remember getting posted. Like, I mean, scramble, sure, but from a non-scramble? Oh, yeah. <laughs> red tees, red tees. Red tees, yeah, you keep saying that, but... Yeah. <laughs> hey, great job, Josh. Thanks, it was a pleasure to watch, man. Thanks, See man. you in two weeks. Have a great vacation. Yeah. Yeah.